Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So, today, um, we've got a video of a bit of an older drawing. Um, I did this one in April, I believe. Um, and it is a, a little design I did of a demon a while ago. I was thinking maybe this would be the, the fateful demon that, um, Roman summons in, in my comic and such. But, um, I think I might have changed it a little bit. I really do like the design for them a bit. I don't think, if anything, he's, he'd probably end up being a lesser demon. I was thinking maybe this would be... <sighs> what was it? One second. I actually have my sketchbook here with me. Shut up, you stupid phone. Sorry. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I have my sketchbook here that I did some of the sketches for these guys with, um, and I said, oh. um, I was thinking either, if anything, I would have made them, if they, since I kind of do like the idea of basing demons off of pre-existing things, like basing them off of the deadly sins, I feel like could be fun, so I think... Like, kind of like the very long fingers and the very skinny skeletal body. I think I would like, like, if this does become kind of like an official like demon character in my um, series, I kind of would think that it would be a greed or a gluttony. Um, I was think I was leaning more towards greeds, just um, kind of being like, like, as they, um, they, they feed off of greed and stuff, and, like, the more and more, I don't know, the more and more, um, blank, I haven't really thought it totally through as you can tell. I mean, I'm not totally thinking about using these guys as my main guys anymore, but, um, I was thinking maybe, like, as they got, like, more and more, they'd become kind of, like, more fleshed out like they'd gain weight they wouldn't be as skeletal but when you first summon them they are i don't know um <laughs> tell me if that's a stupid idea or not <laughs> let me know what you think um thought that could be a cool concept but now i've kind of looked more into kind of basing them off of pre-existing demons. Um, I've actually looked into a couple and I kind of settled on maybe creating a ba Basilbub and having him meet a Basilbub. Um, was it Basilbub? Um, I think it was. It's either... I have a feeling it's not. No, it is. <laughs> Sorry, but, um... Okay, yep, yeah, Basilbub. Then Basilbub is kind of his war name is known as Lord of the Flies, and so I he's kind of like a demon of death and stuff, and a demon of bugs. So he kind of like controls bugs and stuff. So I've kind of come up with like so many different ideas just based off of pre-existing war, and I kind of want to build on that. And I think that building off of stuff that kind of already exists. And that is common knowledge to people can be very interesting, especially if you want to kind of examine that stuff and take your own spin on it. It's never harms to be inspired by someone else. Um, but yeah, I was kind of thinking with Romans, I guess I'm, I'm going to call it Naruto business. His curse mark. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he's got markings up his arm, pretty much, and I want to, it's kind of based off of, I don't know if I've explained this in a video before, it's based off of, he signed this deal with a demon, I'm going to do it, probably going to do something revolving around that in my first, um, chapter of it, but yeah, um, kind of, he's made this deal, and therefore every time he uses this power. He's pretty much, I don't, I don't know if I've explained this before, but pretty much he can do whatever he wants, but there's a price. 
pretty much the price is is his soul basically um so depending on what he decides to do with powers and stuff kind of his demon granted powers kind of decides how like much this curse grows on his arm and pretty much if you do something super powerful you'd have a lot of growth but if you did something very small like you took your finger and you're like i want to get a tiny flame to light this candle you know, poof, uh, probably wouldn't do much at all <laughs> um i haven't put like immense thought into it but i have put some thought into it um I'm still kind of working out the details. Kind of let me know what you think. Um, I'm kind of really excited to kind of work on this a bit more. At the moment, I'm kind of focusing more on another comic, though, because I've been thinking about joining, um, what is it, um, Line Webtoons. They're having a little contest. And I kind of want to, since I have more going for this one i feel in a way i have more ideas on how i want this first chapter to go i feel than i do with null and void i kind of want to do that but i don't know i've been working on it but i feel like i'm already kind of getting stuck so i'm a bit worried i've just been putting a lot of work into it is all and i don't know we'll see um i'll let you know which one i settle on but i really am interested in participating in this and it's not only because of prize money i really don't care about that much um i have a job i make money i'm in college i don't have a ton of money but i don't think i'm living very unhappily because i don't have a ton of money you know um i haven't really got much I feel sometimes to spend money on I feel like I go to the art store a lot and just browse rather than buying anything um yeah uh so it's kind of just I want to put my work out there and I want to see kind of what reaction it gets and I want to try and build popularity a bit more that's always been something that's been a problem with mine I've always, I've never been really able to build a fan base for myself and that's kind of what i want to do um but yeah more kind of about this piece um just kind of like the tactical stuff of it like what i did i pretty much just used a bunch of different black pens um right here i'm actually using a micron of some sort it's um It's, uh, what's the word? I'm looking for the word. Um, oh, no! <laughs> ah, the word's escaping me. But, um, as you can see, I used, um, brush markers. I used ballpoint pens. Um, I used really quite a lot of different kind of mark or pens in this piece. And kind of, I did, ex <laughs> as you can tell, I had a bit of a problem once I decided, yeah, I'm going to make the sky black. I mean, yes, with my, um, graphic, that's the word, my graphic pens, um, they are very, very black. While with my brush pens, I've noticed they are a little bit on the lighter side. Um, like, you put them down, and instead of being a black, black pigment, it's more of a very, very dark dark and cool gray that's just what i've noticed um so yeah that's kind of just a thing to look out for if you ever get these um the only pens that i mean i lined all the greaves in the smaller brush pen and i i lined him in my ballpoint pen it was just a cheap one i didn't even pay anything for it it was a free one i got from my college it's got my college's name on it but yeah so, I mean, I just kind of love using more kind of found supplies. This wasn't really meant to be anything big. It was kind of meant to be more of 
kind of like an expansion upon an idea I did. Because I kind of like sketched out a really rough, stupid little um, comic. I kind of messing with the idea. Because I was kind of sketching out my ideas of demons and kind of that kind of stuff. And kind of like, what would these people, or like, what would they be? Would they be like humans who would like transform into demons? Um, like, unbeknownst to the, the person, um, or what, kind of, kind of worked on that, and I kind of ended up doing a little sketch with this dude of a little, co like, um, mock comic, kind of based on kind of the summoning aspect, and I really liked his design and how he turned out, so I just kind of wanted to do, like, a full little design with it so yeah and as you notice um in the end I ended up coming in with a white gel pen it's my white um, Sakura jelly roll I use mainly Sakura products actually um I really do oh poopy <laughs> okay um but yeah I came in at the end to add a little bit more contrast and to separate the background from the graves and everything so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you like, um, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Share with a friend, please. Um, I really like to get my stuff out there. Um, I really enjoy what I do. I'm doing, and I hope you do too. Okay, bye bye.